sorry. They're gonna clean up this Making orange juice. Grapefruit juice, actually. Oh, nice. So, what's happening today? We're gonna have a second day of carnival. Yeah. For the Rotary Kids. Yes. And there's gonna be a parade. That's right. Good night. <laughs> I get morning. More tea. For breakfast time. Oh, I'm gonna eat bread. Look, bread. Double. Now. And who's excited about the, the parades coming? Me. Me. And watching it all the way from up. Yes, because it's passing right through the streets, so it's easy for us to watch it. We have front seats. Oh! Front row seats. Maar ayon bontak, we gaan naar Maga. We are the Rod Fif Kids family vlog. Uh, that Filipino family vlogging from mm -mm. Yeah. the Netherlands at the moment, and uh, we are closely following the news from Ukraine. It's the fourth day already that they are. So we're watching this. We're a bit behind, so uh, no idea what's happening right now. By the time you're watching this, a bit loud here. Yeah, it might be over. It might be even worse. Yeah, it might. So uh, we are praying for that, and. Um, Let's see what's happening with all this and um, Vivian. Yes. So, uh, so uh, we just also pray for the people of Ukraine. Maybe you're those from Ukraine. Who are, uh, not running away. How do you call that? No, people are not uh, running flucht, away. Fluchten. Uh, how do you call that? Uh, Fleeing. Well, uh, hiding to safer places. Yeah. Especially the, 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 the mothers and the, the, and the children. Yeah. Because the, all the men. From 18 until 60, they have to stay in the country. They're kind of not allowed to leave because they've been called for uh, for duty. To even non-military people, just to fight, protect the country. And I really hope that by now, that the European, uh, uh, that the NATO already is helping them because it's just a uh, abuse. Of course, it's kind of human rights. What do you call it? It's human rights. Human rights. Uh, 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 it's against all human rights. So even though they're not, they're not part of the NATO, yeah. yeah. They, sh they, they should be helped, and, um, but of course it will call Russia all over Europe and um, yeah. we and just and yeah. see, let's see maybe we can also mean something to them I'm not sure so uh, but this vlog is not about that sadly it's funny it's about the carnival about uh, Fastenlovend here in Limburg so, um, so somebody somebody else wants to share something before we go to the afternoon yeah, just, it, it just reminds mouthful. us of oh wait oh. go you first <laughs> now somebody who's not stuffing his mouth full honey and bread and also yesterday there was a person in the carnival and he had the Ukrainian yeah. flag on his yeah. face well wasn't it Samuel who said that support. can you take the camera some support. hey somebody to ask me do you want a flag Oh yeah? Oh, yeah, maybe I said that. Yeah, I said yes, but then I look in the mirror and there was no flag. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. and um, then we are making vlogs on certain things. It doesn't necessarily mean that we uh, agree with everything that happens because we also know that, uh, especially with carnival, there's also like a spirit of debauchery, you call that. Like people are too loose and everything suddenly is possible and because of the, the, the drinks, uh, the, the, the beer and everything. So we do not agree with that. Uh, a, a spirit and we are just as operate for the spirit of God to rest upon us, his protection to be over us, his blood to, to, to cover us and uh, we just want to uh, share cultural stuff like we also do in the Philippines, we share uh, Sinulog and other festivals, it doesn't directly mean that we um, are 100% what? Uh, support, uh, support everything, that, 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 that we are against it but we are just making like reports, vlogs from whatever happens around us. So, uh, yep. Oh, 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 oh. Like, subscribe, come down, down. Let's, let's do it. Hit the bell and share. And by the way, there's always something, well, there's often something you can enjoy about other things, even if everything, not everything is something you agree with. Mm hmm. True. True. You don't always have to look for all the bad stuff. Yep. True. That's right. What? 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 
Uh, you got to say? No, Mariah is applauding Samuel. Just the delivery from the. It's like the quiet morning before the next storm. I'm heading also for a while. I'm gonna buy some uh, bananas. You know what I'm gonna do? Kagawa ako ng turon. Sinamimiss na namin yung turon. Ano yun yung turon, di ba? Yung sake na dinner wrapping, beer wrapper, at saka pinipulito. So, I'm gonna go to the Palestinian store. That's where I bought my banana last time, but I hope they have a riper banana. And, uh, I don't know if kung sa buong Pilipinas kinakain nila yung turon ng in this way, what I'm gonna do. But, that's what I was used to to when I went to school, like in grade school and high school. Because in front of our school, metal, parang where you can, uh, yung store, uh, where they sell turon and then they serve it. It's something else. It's very strange, but it's nice. But kasi, alam naman, Filipino, we can eat strange combinations like champurado at kadai. So, uh, something like that. Yeah? See? Take my key with me because I don't want to ring the bell all the time and disturb them their school. Just around this corner. So here they've got the bananas. It's a little bit of Unfortunately, they didn't have the banana, so I cannot make banana lumpia or uh, turon today. Mm, too bad. And but I what do I do have is a wait a minute. Let me show you. What I do have is this. What I've shown you in the shop. It is banana ketchup. <laughs> banana ketchup is usually uh, it's so normal in the Philippines, and we are not. No, I'm fond of banana ketchup, but the rest of the family not so fond of banana ketchup, but. It's just a sentiment and maybe they would they have missed it and they would like it anyway. See? If you use it for anything else, I don't know. Just use it. It's from England this one. So because well as you like sagging and I already took out the uh, frozen the lumpia wrapper. Uh, I can't put it back, so we just have luck. We just have to make um, a very simple lumpia. I'm using a vegan uh, minced meat, a few of these carrots, and a cabbage, onion, and garlic. So let's chop it all up fast, quick, and of course we're gonna eat it with a banana ketchup. That's the point. Yeah, the point is to use magamit natin yung banana ketchup natin, just like in the. Philippines. I really didn't expect that they would have that here. Kasi yung budget food lang yun, makakabili ka doon ng, ano, ng mga chichiria galing sa Pilipinas. It's like, um, how do you call it? Maybe they sold it somewhere, sell it somewhere here in, uh, maybe in Belgium or I don't know. And, uh, yeah. Uh, budget food sells stuff that are almost like, um, how do you call that bottle? Expired or overstocks. And uh, they get probably get it uh, for, for a little bit of money and then they sell it for very cheap. Instead of throwing it away, mm -hmm. you can still use it. Like, uh, you know, expired, expired uh, products doesn't have to be um, harmful or bad. It's just like they the, they just gave you the time, the date, so that you won't use it anymore. But it's actually there's still uh, enough time to use it. So once you open it, you have to finish it though, right? Mm -hmm. But dry dry goods, I think it's 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 there's nothing wrong with it. But like medicines, I know that when you when the medicine is expired, it's not uh, directly harmful. It's just that the effects of it. Uh, is less the, 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 the yeah 
So uh, like if it's a heart uh, a medicine for your heart and something like that, then you should make sure that it's not expired because it might not be working anymore or it works less and it's not good for you. But it's not something like if it's expired, it's deadly or you will be poisoned or whatever. Okay, let's chop this up quickly. So mga kaibigan, don't just throw away kung, kung yung lagpas na yung dates. There are people who are very scared of such things. They're really like, oh, they get so panicky. Even vegetables, when they are wilted, you can still use it. It just doesn't look good, but it's still eatable. Unless it's really rotten. And uh, when, when you want to make a carrot cake, the, the, the old carrots, like the rimpling, uh, how do you call it, wrinkly uh, carrots, you can also use. Just peel it as long as or you can peel it, cake. you can make it clean. Or banana cake. Because you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, how do you call it, grate it anyway or blend it. So, banana cake, yeah. Banana cake, you can use uh, overripe bananas. Because you're gonna mix it anyway. As long as it's not rotten. Oh. Okay. Oh, I have to make, uh, to be very careful how I cut my veggies. My husband says because I cut it very, quite dangerous. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Let's close it for a while because it's all flying out. I'm adding one beef block like this one. Okay, I break it there. Like this one. And a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and a little of mm. You know I sometimes use vetsin. So for me it's okay to use vetsin as long as you're not using it always like in every meal that you make to use vetsin. Banana ketchup. Almost done. It doesn't have to be totally cooked the veggies because we're gonna fry it anyway again. Yep. So we're gonna cool this down. Then oh then we're gonna rub it. So well I'm gonna hold para I cool down though, so I think it's okay to wrap it like this. Usually I cool it down so so na naman, so kan, so na naman. By the way, bukas pala, uh, the whole uh, region here in Limburg and Brabant are celebrating Carnival. Carnival, I think it's different as Carnival, maybe it is. But it's like the Carnival in Brasilia, Brazil and everything else, like those uh, Latin American countries. And Carnival is parish fiesta. It will be the parade and they will pass through our street. Okay, I have work to do. Yeah, trabaho ole. Let's open it here and close it. <laughs> Carnival's parade coming up. Yeah, <laughs> Carnival parade. So, uh, uh, they are gonna pass in front of our house. So, uh, we are a very privileged, not privileged, we are lucky to be living in this area and then we can just open a window and then they, we can just, yeah, look at them. And para siyang, ano, para siyang fiesta. But then, 
I don't know what they're celebrating, <laughs> but everybody will be just like what you've saw in the last past uh, the past videos that uh, they're all dressed up. It's like a a, 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 a dress up party for all ages. Yeah, it's fun, right? Iba siya kaysa sinulog, kasi yung sinulog parang there's a certain outfit that you have to wear. There's a theme. This uh, carnival, you can just wear anything crazy, what you want, like you've been dreaming of. <laughs> if you have dreamt of becoming a, a diva, then you can dress up like a diva, or a clown, or a pilot. I've seen a pilot already uh, cycling. I mean, pilot people with pilot costumes, or like middle, uh, uh, how to call it, Victorian uh, time uh, costumes, or something like that. So, nakakatuwa rin. And at first we thought, oh, we're not joining because it's kind of crazy. But it's actually fun, especially if everybody's doing it. You will stand out if you're not doing it. Uh, if you are uh, dressed in your own uh, clothes. Right? So, ito na mga kaibigan yung lumpia. I've got two already and we're gonna eat it for lunch. And we're gonna show you if we enjoy it with banana ketchup. So, we have to hurry because it's almost lunch time. Let's see. So, simply lang to. You can use, of course, uh, normal minced uh, meat. But I have this uh, vegan minced, uh, this from soya, I guess, in the freezer. So, that's what I use it. It's also nicer to use it as uh, mixed with something else. Or else it will be, uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can identify, you can taste that it's not real meat. Yeah. What I usually do, or like if I make spaghetti, kung nagluto ko ng spaghetti, I mix, uh, uh, I mix it with a real uh, minced uh, beef or pork together, then it will blend. Yeah. Malapit na matapos. Of course not. And I'm almost done. Last one. So, we we'll skip the rest because it will be a very long flow. Okay. And I'll start frying. Okay, empty. Empty plate in front of you. I still wish I could make my own wrapper. Oh, this is a small one. Done. Now we're gonna fry it and then eat. I am using the same pan that I just used to cook the, how to call it? The fillings. So, I'll just add more oil in it. I don't know if it's hot enough. Let's see if it's hot enough. Not yet. Let's wait for a little while. I think our oil is hot enough already. Let's put this in there. Yes. Don't drop it yeah. Okay, this boy really wants to. This is a shiny, by the way. I really want to put that one in there. Now, let's pay attention that it won't burn. Okay, we turn it around, flip it. We want nice golden brown or brownish and uh, crispy. Wrap it. Uh, Lumpia. Yes. I burn it many times, you know, so don't worry. Because I always do something else whenever I'm cooking. I do something else in between and me. That's why it ends up like that. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna pour my water for my coffee. I didn't have coffee yet, if you can hear me. 
when I take time with cooking, I really pay attention. Then things don't, food don't get burned. <laughs> See, I flip it again, I flip and flip. I just flip it every now and then so that it won't burn and it will cook and fry uh, equally. But it happens a lot of times so at the last minute I do have to do something else then I forget about it then it still burns yeah so sad so I think it's done this batch here put in this one plate with a kitchen towel I don't know if you can see him. He's there behind the window. Yeah. So we're going to have lunch outside because it's not nice and sunny. We're having a, I always call it an airplane meal with our airplane spoons here. And a little bit of uh, one uh, lumpia, I guess, per person or one and a half. Can you open this banana ketchup, Mariah? Because we want to taste the banana ketchup with our lumpia. Today. Midnight's outside. She loves it out. She yeah. loves it outside now because it's sunny. Come on! Psst. Lunch! Aiden! Shake, shake, shake. Be careful. It's made in England though. UK. It's not a Filipino. That's an alternative for the Philippines because there's tomatoes are more wow. expensive than banana. But why they make it here in how? Ohio? Well, I don't know. Just bread. fermented bananas. Uh, Just like they, the banana they even have uh, banana wine. Because eh? I was figuring out what we can do with all the bananas we have in Indonesia. Wow. And so I searched on the internet. I thought that was my own idea. But then they already made banana wine. <laughs> There's a chicken tikka masala. Indian food. We had a lumpia. Now dip dip. Psst. Oh yeah, that's a Filipino way of calling somebody. Hot. Is it crispy? Everybody. I don't know. Come on, get outside and eat before your food gets cold. So how? What about the banana ketchup? I'm gonna put this one here because I'm gonna save the best for last. Yeah, but I was asking you to taste it with a banana ketchup. I did. Does the banana ketchup oh, taste like the ones in the Philippines? I don't know. I wanted to make banana turun Moraya with a banana ketchup. Number one, we have to make it yeah, banana ketchup is another. <laughs> Yeah, that's again different taste, different brands, different taste. So sagging. Hey, I'm gonna bring your food up in a little while. He's working, so he got to eat his Very lunch disturbing. behind the desk. Training, I need to do. Oh, training. Oh. And this house is falling apart. See, I can just take the yeah. wood. I was also cleaning the window sills there, and it's all coming off. That's really the, like. Yeah, they have to do a lot of things frame. if they want to renew, to keep the house. Yeah, right. All right. Yo, as the button. Okay. See you later.